Hi, my name is Bob Strakel. I mix bands like Avenged Sevenfold, and for the last four years, I've been mixing Fun of House for Slipknot. And uh, today, we're in Bratislava on a Slipknot show with our friends in Gain Lab Audio. I'm using a dictator for my mix bus compression. Uh, it's nice and nice and gentle. You don't hear it working too hard, but it adds a nice thickness, adds a lot of body, adds a lot of harmonics, depending on how you uh, like to drive it. For me, I'm uh, sitting at about 4 dB of reduction on the mix bus. We're in slow mode on the attack and fast mode on the release. I'm using the high pass filter function on the detector so that the low end is not or is not affecting the compressor too too much. Um, and it's really just one of those devices that um, you can dig in hard and you don't really hear it working too hard until you turn it off. And then everything kind of gets smaller and more boring. <laughs> so yeah, it's, it's, it's a great device to add excitement to your mix. Um, for bus compression. That's, that's my main use for it. Going down the rack, the Gain Lab Dictator is in series with the Cream Liner. The Cream Liner is a pentode line level preamp uh, made by a guy in um, Vancouver called Sonic Farm. A guy named Boris makes them. This is based after a Telefunken V72 preamp that he uh, makes a line level version of. And uh, similar to the, to the Dictator, it's one of those devices where when you turn it off, everything just kind of, it just adds a little more meat to, to your mix, you know? Going down the rack, uh, I have a Rupert Neve Master Bus Processor, and that is on um, my band group. So it's everything in the console minus the vocals. And I'm using this mostly for um, a little bit of width in the mid-range and the red silk, which just adds a little bit of high-frequency um, harmonic distortion. Moving down, we got the Gain Lab Empress, which is Gain Lab's Pultec style EQ with uh, a lot of additional features, most notably the mid-range, which an uh, EQP1 would never normally have. Um, so this is on my guitar bus, and it really makes the guitars come alive, as we found out this afternoon. So I'm adding a little, little 1K to it, and then um, putting some, it's like a sheet of glass over it, so some, some 8K for some air. Um, and then using some of the high-pass filtering to just clean up the low end. API 2500s on my drum crush bus. So that's working pretty hard, just to add some excitement as a parallel drum group. Um, then we got the Retro Double Wide on kick. Uh, this is a Bax, Baxendahl EQ style EQ, so it's a linear um, tilting EQ. And I believe it's the low band is at 60 and the high band is at 12K. So that's my snare group. Um, snare top and bottom goes through that and then also goes through the distressor. I use my expressor on the percussion group. So it's a lot of crazy sounding drums, some kegs, um, a lot of things that uh, tonally are very, very different. And uh, the expressor just keeps them all together for me. The Serpent 4001 is um, on another drum group that I use uh, very lightly, 1.5 to 1, slow attack, fast release, um, and that's in parallel with my, with my group that's on the 2500. The Neve 542s are tape emulators, so it's, it's actually got two tape heads in it. Creates like just a nice gentle saturation, and um, some red silk as well adds some high frequency content, and that's on my guitars as well. And then you're just your standard effects, I always love the SPX 990, number 19. Big snare. It's like a gated snare drum. That's all it does. Uh, it sounds pretty bad, but in a good way. <laughs> I like it. Um, distressors on snare, Bercasti's on uh, 
drum verbs for big hits, and then um, the rest is vocals. Record computer, smart computer. I send um, my solo bus to smart to this. So if I'm ever having any problems with feedback or anything like that, I can just uh, solo the channel and it, it goes right to there. So this is my the system smart. And this is for uh, troubleshooting purposes and uh, keep an eye on how loud I am. So we, we'll, we'll have an average screen up here that shows me a 10 minute average and I try and stay pretty consistent depending on uh, how loud the audience is. It tends to start off pretty loud and then I'll, I'll take it down a little bit. Everybody's pretty excited at the start of the show. Yeah, so if you haven't heard of Gain Lab Audio, make sure you check them out. Uh, it's very roadworthy. I've been using it all year. Never had one problem with it. I've fallen in love with the, the brand and what the, the people and the people at Gain Lab are doing. It's, uh, but most important, it, it all sounds amazing. So uh, check out Game Lab and maybe see you at a Slipknot show.